Welcome to UK Theme Parks, welcome to Legoland and welcome to Land of the Vikings. So we got news that the Viking River Splash will be closing permanently on Monday the 25th of September 2023. The ABC Rapids opened at the park back in 2007 and you know people have said the theme and everything's gone, really the only thing's gone from it was the bucket over the final drop. And everyone's like, oh, we're really, really surprised. We can't believe it's happening. Well, actually, we've been following this. As you know, we haven't seen the ride opening. I don't know how long. Uh, we've been following this over the last couple of years. And you can see kind of the work they've actually put into this ride. Uh, new roof uh, was one thing a couple of years ago. A brand new station queue line was another thing. Uh, as we came last time, the whole turntable piece had been completely replaced. Uh, all the beams and everything have been completely redone. So yeah, I have to say we were a little bit surprised looking at it that it was uh, you know all this has been has been replaced in new. But guess what? We've come for our last ride. And it's still not open. It's still not open. People tell me it is open sometimes. I don't know when to be honest with you. Uh, everything I've seen of it, this is how it's been. Um, you know we are at the end of summer now, but it is still half term. Yeah. Um, yeah, what does the fate hold for it? But yeah, we've been looking at it because all this, all this was replaced during the closed season. All this was replaced. And you'd like to think if there was something sort of seriously mechanically wrong with it that they wouldn't bother doing arguably sort of more cosmetic stuff to it. Um, ridership, I imagine, is still very good. You know, all the rides at Legoland tend to get a queue, to be honest with you. But I just haven't seen it open in years. So if that's kind of what it, what it needs to... To be gone, I don't know. Now the park has said it's um, it's closing Viking River Splash. You know, is it permanently going? Are they retheming it? I think that's still a little bit up in the air. The indication is very much it will be permanently closing um, at the end of September to be you know gone again. And to be fair, you know, 16 years, probably 15 years, not even that. It didn't reopen after COVID. You know, 12 years for a ride this size isn't great lifespan i would argue to be honest with you and it is one of the better rapids the boats are easily one of the better boats that we've had um anywhere and yeah the theming is a bit sparse but the theming's always been sparse apart from here where you used to have the um the drop bucket but they took that out because of people standing up now we've seen some ridiculous claims on uh, online saying that you know they're they're taking it out because of the health and safety the health and safety around having to have more staff on it well actually the health and safety isn't related to having to have more staff. The fact they choose to have more staff on it um, is something they do for their own benefit, for their own health and safety. Health and safety haven't turned around and said you need to man someone at every single corner. It's a bit of a ridiculous statement when I read that. However, the fact they have to have more staff for it, and it's obviously proven unreliable, is one of the reasons why it's closing. But it does seem odd that we've replaced all of this, all of this, and um, it's still not open and is now closing permanently. So we'll go down and have a look. If not, we'll take some final shots of it. I'm not entirely sure we'll be back uh, to ride it before then. We might be back to ride it before then, but then I say that, I assumed after the park, I put it on there, you know, come and get your pop badge, come and get your final rides on it, that it would be open. Now looking along here and looking at sort of the boats and seeing the plastic on them, I don't think anything's changed since I last came, to be honest with you. I certainly don't think that it's been open. There's no tire marks on the wood either which you would expect some tire marks on there it's not really grazed that much i'm sure it's had a little bit of testing but it's not open so yeah they're advertising come and ride it for the last time i don't know when it's planned to open i just don't think it's been open anytime soon so yeah this could be the last time we see it potentially um but yeah, all this is all this has been replaced. It's just so weird. It's just so weird. The amount put into it. But there's no sign of life today. I don't think we're getting on it today. So we're going to take a few shots for nostalgic purposes. And yeah, really short one here from Legoland. So I think this will also spell the end to the land of the Vikings. Here is the Viking River Splash. So of course, some new um, outposts were put up around the ride. There's one here, there's one down the bottom. There's a new one over there as well, following the incident at Drayton Manor. As I said, the boats on these ABC ones are really, really good, really like deep with tall backs. 
If it was one of the ones I thought would survive, I have to say, I thought this one would be right up there, especially being a, a self-contained one. Some of the models are still fantastic. Uh, the dragon, the ice. But it's certainly not as good as some of the ones that are abroad, you know, ones with big drops and still have buckets and things. And it's a shame, it's a shame. I do think it probably is going. But yeah, we came to ride Viking River Splash. We're not going to be doing it. We're not going to be doing it, which is a... Uh, that is a real shame. I'm not sure we'll get back here before the 21st, uh, 25th of September, but we will definitely try. As it gets a little bit quieter, we'll make an effort to come back here um, a little bit more. You know, we've just been told there's 12,000 people in the park today, so uh, if it was open, I'm sure we'd have to queue an hour for it. Will it be open on a quiet day? That's the next question. Fingers crossed, though, since they've advertised it, that it's either opening shortly, or certainly it's due to open before the close date. But yeah, short video here from us here on UK theme parks. But it's a final look at Viking River Splash. Hope you've liked it. Drop us a like and we'll see you next time.